Hello there, welcome to another episode of World of Tanks with Engatney Titan. We're here on the Camarman map, Team Destruction, team, Tier 6 more or less, very strong Tier 6 game, and I'm in the Rudy, the T3485 uh, premium version that came with the um, four-man crew with Jan Koss, is it, and the dog Cesaric. So you got a barking dog when you get... Um, but that crew, uh, six cents goes off with that particular crew. I've really enjoyed the Rudy since getting it, and uh, I've moved that crew on now to, I think, the T43. Um, just need to train up some extra skills on them. Now, this is, like I said, it's a tier six battle. We're top tier, but there are no light tanks. Not that it makes much difference on Camaron. Camaron is such a small map that even a light tank scouting has to more or less resign itself to active scouting because you're going to be spotted. The map's just too small and there's too many tanks on it. Somebody's going to be close enough to see you. So I've more or less resigned myself to active scouting, but that is kind of the role I've, I've assigned to myself. Uh, know the map very well because I've been at it forever. Now I'm being attacked here by this uh, Panzer 3 4. He seemed to determine to drive as far forward as he possibly could until he was stopped. Now he's missed uh, every shot so far we've gotten two into him he's bounced that one off the tracks and this one should finish him off so i'll get it in before he's reload and he's gone so that is actually a very strong start because now i haven't taken any damage and i've killed the tank that's a pretty dangerous tank destroyer up there so i don't want to get in too involved with him if i can possibly avoid it um i thought i'd put a shot there under the cart and get him but it hit the dirt i think so we've uh, poked out this side often enough now, we've put time to have another peep around the other side of the map and see what we can see. Now these guys are already spotted but maybe they're not looking my way and I'll be able to get a shot in. So there's a Churchill one at the back there and he's definitely not looking my way. The other Churchill actually reacts to my appearance more or less straight away and stands uh, fire in my direction. But that one just falls short of the Churchill, and I've got to pull back because the Churchill 3 firing on me, there's too much of a risk that he just um, obliterate my hit point pull during a reload. Um, because the Churchill 3's rate of fire is actually quite ferocious. So now I should be low enough to avoid shots in the Churchills. Um, there may be tanks further back or in the. Um, eastern side of the river there that might be shooting at me. Somebody is shooting at me already. I'm taking fire there from the right of the Type 58. And I've taken a hit actually. And took another couple of hits there just as I put out that last shot to actually take out the Type 58. So a heavy enough price but still we're uh, healthy enough and the enemy are losing tanks pretty rapidly. Now that WZ-131 pulls out very smoothly. Puts around into me, removes half my remaining health. However, he doesn't go back into cover, he stays out of cover, and I managed to put around into him and finish him off. The Dicker Max, I think, thought he'd take advantage of my distraction. And I've managed to put around into him, finish him off as well. So, I don't think he moved in time now. I want to be really careful with KV1S because. They have a very powerful gun, and I think it's the variant with the very powerful derp gun. And it could possibly finish me off in one shot. Now, I start putting several rounds into it here from this location. I'm getting a red pip on the targeting reticle. With a red circle and a red outline of the tank. But I have a feeling there is actually something. None of those shots went through, and the angle is relatively flat. I mean, it went through there at a more angled... Um, direction facing me and it went in there again so i think those first uh, three or four shots that didn't go in at all were actually hitting some obstacle that was either at or near the edge of the, the reticle so um either the edge of the wall or the building he was behind or something that was impenetrable to shells and um i wasn't getting the true picture from the um, the aiming reticle that the, um, the, the tank being outlined in red was probably false. However, he managed to show enough of the commander's hatch there for us to finish him off. And this is the last tank, so we take out the last tank and it's a victory. And we, the team didn't lose to me, I think, plus three tanks. 
So we got over 2,000 damage, which is pretty good in a tier 6 um, tank. We got a first class mastery. Got 435 assist, um, possibly from tracking, maybe from spotting. We came number one by experience, uh, which is uh, pretty good, and the next one up was a T150. So, I hope you enjoyed the video and found it interesting. Thank you for watching. Please like if you enjoyed the video. If you have not already done so, please subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you all again soon. Bye for now.